Today, we're diving into a major update that's been making waves, especially for those of you who've been following this ongoing saga with me. If you've been around for a while, you might recall when I discussed Huawei and its use of the Huawei SN910 processor. Now, here's where things get interesting. This chipset was produced by TSMC, a leading semiconductor manufacturer. But as most of you know, Huawei can't directly do business with TSMC due to the ongoing U.S. trade restrictions. So how did this happen? Let me break it down for you. The U.S. launched an investigation and uncovered something intriguing. These chipsets were manufactured by TSMC for a Chinese company called Softgo. However, they somehow ended up in Huawei's technology despite the ban. This revelation has led to some serious consequences. The U.S. government didn't take this lightly. In response, they added Softgo to their entity list. For those unfamiliar with the term, being on the entity list means Softbow is now prohibited from purchasing advanced chipsets or doing business with U.S.-based companies. In essence, it's a severe blow, especially in a market as critical as the United States. For Softbow, this could spell the end of their operations in the U.S. altogether. Now here's the big question. Why did the U.S. take such a drastic step, especially when Softbow claims it has no direct ties to Huawei? In fact, Softbow has even stated they're open to an audit to clear their name. So why blacklist them? The answer lies in the broader strategy. This isn't just about Softbow or even Huawei, it's a calculated move to send a clear message to other companies. By blacklisting Softgo, the US is essentially saying, we're watching. Any company that attempts to bypass restrictions or operates in a gray area risks facing the same fate. Let's take a closer look at what this means for Huawei and the tech industry as a whole. Huawei has faced increasing hurdles over the years due to the US sanctions. From being cut off from Google services to restrictions on semiconductor access, the company has had to innovate and find workarounds to stay in the game. But with this new action, the U.S. is effectively closing another potential loophole. Even if Huawei wasn't directly involved in this case, the message is clear. There's no room for error. And this doesn't just impact Huawei or Softgo. It's a warning shot to any Chinese tech company with global ambitions. The U.S. market is one of the largest and most lucrative in the world. Being blacklisted means losing access to advanced technologies, partnerships, and a significant portion of potential revenue. For many companies, a risk of getting on the entity list could be enough to deter them from even attempting anything questionable. But let's be real here. This is a complicated issue. While some may argue this is a necessary step to maintain fair competition and protect national security, this is a significant development in the ongoing tech war between the U.S. and China, and it's something we should all pay attention to. If you found this update valuable, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more deep dives like this. Also, drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this entire situation. Thanks for sticking around till the end. As always, I appreciate your support and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care and peace out.